A chair has a height of 120 centimetres, and a table has a height of 102 centimetres. Express the height of the table as a percentage of the height of the chair. Let's first express the height of the chair as a fraction of the height of the table. Then we can convert the fraction to a percentage. We can find the fraction height by dividing the height of the table by the height of the chair. 102 over 120 can be simplified as both the numerator and the denominator are factors of 6. Dividing both numbers by 6 gives us 17 over 20. The fraction is in its simplest form. To express this as a percentage, we need to find an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of 100. Multiplying both numbers by 5 gives 85 over 100. 85 one hundredths equals 85%. So the table is 85% the height of the chair. Gail buys a new mountain bike for $1,500 and a helmet for $60. Express the price of the helmet as a percentage of the price of the mountain bike. Let's first find the fraction price, then we can convert the fraction price to a percentage. The fraction price is found by dividing the cost of the helmet by the cost of the mountain bike. 60 over 1,500 equals 6 over 150. Dividing both numbers by 6 gives 1 25th. To express this as a percentage, we need to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. Multiplying both numbers by 4 gives 4 over 100. 4 one hundredths equals 4%. So the helmet is 4% the price of the mountain bike. Philip is 12 years old. His grandmother is 75 years old. Express Philip's age as a percentage of his grandmother's age. First, let's find Philip's age as a fraction of his grandmother's age. Twelve over seventy-five can be simplified to four twenty-fifths. Multiplying the numerator and the denominator by four gives sixteen over one hundred. Sixteen one hundredths equals sixteen percent. So Philip is sixteen percent the age of his grandmother.